the idol worshippers of Mecca prostrate to Allah. In Ramadan, Prophet Muhammad recited Surah an Najim, the chapter of the star from the Holy Quran, to a gathering that included some of the high ranked idol worshippers from the tribe of Quraysh in Mecca. The awe inspiring words of Allah impacted the listeners' hearts, and the unbelievers were overwhelmed in emotion and could not help themselves but unconsciously bowed down in prostration. The idol worshippers that were not present got upset when they heard what happened. The idol worshippers that prostrated made up lies about what happened to justify why they prostrated. News of this incident was highly exaggerated and misreported to the Muslims who migrated to Abyssinia, which led them to think that the idol worshippers of Mecca had accepted Islam, so they made their way back to Mecca. As the Muslims got close to Mecca, they found out that this rumor was not true. When they arrived at Mecca, some of the Muslims traveled back to Abyssinia. It was harder for them to flee back to Abyssinia again now that the idol worshippers were more aware. This time around, the Muslims that migrated to Abyssinia were four times more than the first migration. Some of the big names of Mecca accepted Islam, including Umar ibn al-Khattab and Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, the Prophet's uncle, peace be upon them both. With the Muslims growing and some big names converting to Islam, this scared the idol worshippers of Mecca. After many attempts to stop Prophet Muhammad and the believers from spreading Islam, and after a few attempts trying to convince the Prophet's uncle, Abu Talib, who raised the Prophet and had a high rank in the tribe, to tell his nephew to stop, the non-believers resorted to their old ways of persecuting and torturing the Muslims in a more severe way than they did the first time. The idol worshippers of Mecca held a meeting and decided not to involve any of the Muslims in any intermarriage or have any business dealings with any of them, including Abu Talib, the Prophet's uncle, even though he had not accepted Islam, just simply because he did not agree to stop Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Muslims had to flee to an abandoned valley for a couple of years due to the boycott, as the idol worshippers of Quraysh wouldn't sell them food water, and clothes. When they moved to the abandoned valley, they did not have many resources, which was not easy. Later, they were able to return to Mecca.